All yoga teachers are vegan, right? And you're only a serious yoga practitioner if you don't eat any animal products, right? Wrong. So today let's debunk some myths that you have to be a vegan to be a yoga teacher and that you have to be a vegan to be seriously into yoga. Let's debunk this myth that yoga equals veganism. I think I know a couple of places where this notion may have come from. Western modern yogis today follow the eight limb path of yoga set forth by sage Patanjali. About 3,000 years ago, he wrote the Yoga Sutra. In the Yoga Sutra, Patanjali lays out an eight limb path of yoga or eight limbs to wholeness, bliss, and sort of guidelines for how we should be in the world. One of those limbs is called the yamas or the ethical principles. Sometimes we can think of the yamas as how we treat others and ourselves. The first one of these yamas is called ahimsa, which is compassion for all living beings. Some yogis take this to mean that we can't eat any animal products in order to be compassionate for all the animals around us. But there are other ways to have compassion in the way you eat without practicing a plant-based diet. Monocropping things like soy or, for example, almond milk farms, they're in fact not necessarily the most compassionate way to treat our earth. Lots of animals die when we plow a field, like mice and groundhogs and voles. We also are destroying natural habitat of animals when we farm huge crops. I believe that if we're gonna have compassion for all living beings, that means eating a diet that is sustainable and suited to our lifestyle. In some places, the most compassionate thing we can do is be animal eaters. For example, here in Nicaragua where I live, the most sustainable way to eat is animal products that come right from the ocean or from my neighbors. This means that I am eating locally and I get to be putting dollars into the local economy. For me, this is the most compassionate way that I can eat here. The disciplines or niyamas, the second limb of yoga, that also might be one of the reasons that some yogis prefer to be vegan. One of these disciplines is called saucha, which translates to keeping your mind and body pure or clean. For many yogis, they interpret this as practicing veganism. That's not always sustainable for all of us. I like to interpret this as not putting processed foods in my body wherever I can. The way I practice purity in my body is knowing that my my meats are locally sourced, hormone and antibiotic free. I try as little as possible to eat very heavily processed foods. This is how I like to keep my body clean. All in all, you have to practice the diet and lifestyle that suits you the best. I believe that all of us have our own interpretations of these eight limbs of yoga, and all of us can follow the guidelines in the best way possible for us, for our bodies and our lifestyles.